Hello, everyone. Come on in. We're going to talk about shave soaps today. Hey, we have a Razor Company exclusive with Master Soap Creations. It's a beautiful morning with the Barber Shop Duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, we're glad to see you. Come yes. on in, take a seat. We're going to spend some time today just relaxing and talking about wet shaving. And let's give us an update on your yes. gift from Jason at the Razor Company. So speaking of Razor Company, I was very <laughs> grateful to be gifted this wonderful leaf razor. Um, I did purchase a new stand for it, because why not? Um, but after using it for a few weeks, I really can tell the difference... Um, and I noticed a lot how having this hinge factor was definitely helpful on my legs, at least on the bonier areas. I didn't feel as nervous. Um, and I got to say, it's probably the closest shaved I've ever had. Nice. So uh, that having the three blades is a different thing than the double blade. So I don't know. I'm having fun with it so far. So yeah. if anyone was curious how it's going, it's going I well. I have not <laughs> tried it yet. I am still getting used to my Henson. I've only been wet shaving with it for about a month what? now. Yeah. So still not ready to venture out into other hardware yet. But right. uh, it's getting better every shave. And you 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 have swapped out some of the blades. Yes. But I've that's been, been the adventure. with different blades. So maybe we'll yeah. talk about that on the next one. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So. <laughs> today's soap I am super excited about because it's a new artisan and it's a new primary scent note. It is. We don't have a soap yet that no, is we have at not its heart yet. a tobacco mm -mm. note. So I'm really excited. Let's meet this soap. So we were very lucky to be gifted four soaps that are collaborations for the Razor Company. Yeah, and the Razor Company and Jason sent us this beautiful care package our second week. And yes, it's got been... four of their exclusives in it for us to take a look at. Finally time to sneak it on the schedule. I so, know. but we are actually really excited about this one. It turns out it's inspired by Tom Ford tobacco vanilla fragrance. And we have yet to smell an actual Tom Ford <laughs> cologne, but we're giant fans already right, just so because of all the homages to the Tom Ford cologne. Yeah, and, and, and it, I, you were mentioning that tobacco is actually somewhat familiar for you. I love a tobacco smell. Well, mostly because my grandpa smoked a pipe mm -hmm. and it was just, he was one of my best friends mm -hmm. and it was just such a comforting smell. It was like a, a cherry tobacco yeah. that he would, that he would smoke and it was just nice. And then growing up in theater, you know, in the 80s and 90s, everybody had a cigarette break and everybody would go outside and us kids would go outside with them because that's where all the cool people were. <laughs> so there's just something about the smell of even cigarettes. I know it's weird, right. but that's a little comforting for me because my best friend smoked for a long time and, right, and everybody in the theater, that. everybody in the theater in the 80s and 90s smoked. So yeah, it was just kind of a nice comforting yeah, smell. Yeah, I'm curious if this will be like, you know, that certain type yeah. of memory for you. I love this smell when you go into a, to a tobacconist shop oh, and right. sometimes they have like a bag room that's a whole room that's a humidor right there is no better smell for me than that humidor room it's, it's just beautiful so i'm excited yeah. to smell this should we Ready? reopen this right. razor company box <laughs> Our chicken scratch on top, so we knew what was yeah, in the box. So we knew it was in there. But, <laughs> oh oh like man, I'm so excited. Okay. And we have a sample for y'all. We do. This is an exclusive of the Razor Company with Southern Witchcraft. And this is, I believe, their sort of haunted barbershop sort of right. scent. So we do not smell samples in case they re-release the soap someday. So we're gonna give this away to you. And we'll talk about it later at messages. Okay. Here we go. I always forget that they wrap their oh, soaps individually. Yeah, but I love that. I do too. It's like they're, yeah. Just keeps the fragrance protected a little bit. And you get like a second opening, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Open oh, it. I love that label. Wow. It's always such a better quality on the label than I expect after I've seen like the graphics online right. and stuff. But and... you can totally see like the smoke and the fire. Oh, and it's and, just... and we're a fan of the side uh, stickers in our. Shave yeah, the images on your screen never quite do this justice. I feel like you're going to have this to be the one. To just... Oh, I I don't know. And it says new collab base. Oh, interesting. And this is also our first from Master Soap Creations. Master Creation. Soap Creations. We're very That's excited because they have quite the lineup. So, it's oh, time. it's time for first impression. <laughs> Okay, really? Should I go first for this one, really? I feel like you 
have to. I'm not okay. going to be able to do it justice. You you have, at least have a scent okay, here we go. in mind, you know? I'll show the pour in a minute. I just want to yeah, grab this right sour. off the tub here. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Was it the type you were expecting? Not even a little, and I'm delighted. A lot okay, of people have referred this one and said, are you First doing tobacco? First of all, tobacco? check out the color of oh, that. Oh, wow. Pearl. Isn't that beautiful, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. I want you to just take a, just take I it in. I have no expectations. I'm curious. <laughs> Ooh. Right? Tom it's Ford, man. oddly sweeter than I, I was know. expecting. I know, Tom Ford, man. But I kind of had the same thing when I smelled the, the, the found cherry. It was just like, okay, I have right? to totally rethink of what I think of cherry, but I am adoring this, right. and I'm having the but same thing now happen now. Now that I know it's from a tobacco vanilla oh, fragrance, right. that's what I'm getting. But it's, it's not, tobacco and it's, vanilla, it's like right? a cooked vanilla. Does that make sense? Like warmed vanilla? It's not... Does that make sense? Yes. It's 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 uh it's like straight from the plant has right. been like heated somehow. Yeah. And I what I love about Tom Ford stuff is he seems to go to the heart of the scent and pull out the parts of it that are clean and beautiful. Yes. And and I, I don't know how better to describe this, but there are a lot of parts for of tobacco that are here, and there are some parts of it that no. aren't. Yeah. That aren't at all. So he's like taking the part of the tobacco heart of that tobacco. if I were to get a whiff of that I'm like, ooh, is not in there. Right. And it's no. sweeter. And there's some other spices that blend so well with the yeah. tobacco part of it that yes. they, all, they almost disappear into each other. Yes, agreed. This is not a humidor scent for me. This is more of Almost like the Warm? tobacco leaf right. or something. Like it's just the heart of the smell that's still, brought out. It's still comforting. Like it's oh, so, like, absolutely comforting. And the, and you know, the important distinction: this is not an actual tobacco. This is an homage to a cologne. Right. Mm -hmm. And I love that these master perfumers are so good at combining different scent notes to make three and four colors. And in I'm each super scent. glad that this sort of landed in fall. Oh, absolutely. I feel this like we wouldn't have appreciated it in it's summer. It's darker. It's yeah. a bit more mysterious. It's spicier. Spice, right? Yeah, for sure. But it reminds me of like fall, like the comforting, oh. you know, just the color of the leaves even, like closer right. to the amber kind of color. Right. Yes. There's something to that. And there's just... Now, let me be careful how I say this. This... <laughs> This does not like smell like like clean laundry, but no. there is something with the Tom Ford smells that for me are as comforting as that clean laundry smell. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how he does it, but it's almost like the clean laundry comforting version of cherry, the clean yeah. laundry comforting version of tobacco. I, to me, it's still like you get a persona. Like you could, uh -huh. it's someone you would adore that you would like that would be warm and loving. Like yeah. I always, I've tended to get that from all the Tom forward stuff so far right and like this it's a familiar color, thing see the color of the smoke that for me is the color that my brain lights yeah, up when yeah. i smell this you but it's not a smoke smell no no nope. get not. that out of your head no smoke in this at all I, I know the image and everything but it's not it's it's oh it's so savory let's break this open with a little lather yes, shall we here i've Wow. We had definitely <laughs> heard people mention this, and now I get why. Yes, this is a very revered soap. And I, I totally get why. I had no idea that it was actually inspired by, but we're kind of having fun with those. So. Yeah, it's funny. Three out of four times when I would ask about a tobacco scent, this was the one that was yes. suggested. Mm -hmm. so, we have oh. a few other coming, but I'm kind of glad that this is our first. Yeah. And Sarah discovered that the lather is not always white. I kind of laughed at her the first time. She was like, does the darker soap make a darker lather? And it <laughs> sure does. Oh, this is just it's waking up quick. Beautifully. Yeah. It, oh, look at this. I wasn't expecting it to be so soft, but like know. it almost looks kind of whipped. Yep. In yep. here, you know. Well, back and forth. Going on here. Beautiful. Mm. Okay. How's the smell? Did it change? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you know, tobacco as oh. it leaves has just a little bit of like I almost a, a suede more. leather smell to it. Totally. Do you get that? It's fantastic, y'all. And it, there's funny. I've only been into one place that was like a cigar Jeez. bar before, and the, and it it had leather inside. Ah, so yeah. it was funny because where's that? <laughs> Back in the, uh, we all have yeah. our secrets. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I didn't know I was walking into it. My <laughs> friend was like, "Just meet me here." I'm like, "Okay, we're gonna play pool." And then I got there, and I was like, "What is happening?" What is this? Um, Pee Wee Herman's up there doing the <laughs> right. dance and everything. But it, there, it wasn't a lot of people in there smoking, but I could feel in the room a little bit of that smell. <laughs> but the couches and everything were leather. 
and I do get oh, that wow. kind yeah. of combo. Yep. Suede yep. maybe, yep. but like um, the aged, like leftover tobacco in the room too. Oh, absolutely. And a little bit of like a clean yes. soapiness that yeah. just gets along with it so well as if the person who was holding the cigar mm. has also had a beautiful, like a little bit of a cologne on. Right. Or I there's... don't know if soapy is the right word, but it's clean. It's some, a little, I don't want to say Yeah, floral. maybe it's not soapy. Maybe it's more cologne-y. Maybe. Yeah, I think th there's like a cologne note in this yes. that just lightens it up against the darkness of the tobacco do we, do so beautifully. Do we dare check and see what they have listed? Oh, yeah, but I'm having too much fun just figuring it out on my own. All right, I'm just bonding with this yeah, right now. So why don't you read the set notes? I want to okay. be alone with this for a few Top minutes. notes are tobacco leaf. You were right. Oh, see? You it's not the, Wow, we are getting good <laughs> a little bit better. on this show. I mean, half the time we still have no idea what we're talking no. about. We're very new, but it's nice when we can right. pick stuff but out. But that is the top note, that tobacco, the top leaf, tobacco and leaf and spicy notes. Love it. Middle notes are vanilla, yep. cocoa. I see there oh, was a cedar. Yeah. Tonka bean and tobacco blossom oh it's fantastic so that's so, the flower yeah tonka is a little bit of like vanilla so you got a little chocolate little vanilla going on which makes total sense right, but the, but the actual thing. tobacco blossom is probably that sweeter clean we're yes getting. yes and a little tiny bit of floral just, just to be just the icing on the cake just a little yeah. kiss as it leaves you and then base notes are oh, dried yeah. fruits and woody notes oh no okay because i wow. did get wood from i was thinking of like there is, it's not the normal woods, but there's something in there. This, this, re okay, some, some soaps that we do, they give you their character and their color, and it's all there in the one whiff. This is different. No, this and, yeah. and some of the soaps are very much like this. You'll take three big whiffs, and each one will be very, very different. Yes. Oh, this is fantastic. So smell this now, and then pick Ooh, that up. A little up. bit more of the chocolatey on those. Right, but you there, can still get that. Just a little, a little, but this is more of a balance. It is. It is definitely more in the tobacco the usually vibe. usually is, right? Yeah. So put this in my face. It's funny. I didn't want to like pick male, masculine, whatever. Uh. <laughs> but this one is a little sweeter, so I could almost see it being a little lighter, more female-ish. That has a little more of the masculine-y, you know, notes to it. A little more right. in your face. It's not yes. bad, but I could still totally use that. I don't feel like it has to be. Right. And, you know, I think there's something imminently sexy about like a woman with a cigar you know it's, what i mean or like a scotch i, I just... like when they break the standards you so know? I, I think that is where that could be a really feminine right. scent because it is a tom ford it mm -hmm. is a cologne homage right yeah i'm excited to smell our next tobacco ones and see like where we take those yeah. because it seems like it could be spun different ways right and secret time i used half the soap that i had planned to use on this i didn't get this as much out as i thought took. and look at all of i know we don't comment on lather but look okay look at this lather oh my holy moly wow it's so master so creations mm -hmm. wow my head is off just on the lather we haven't done this in a long time mm -hmm. how's the smell yeah. no, it does it's who's the youtube channel that always uh lathers his nose i gotta remember oh that. yeah we should check that's yeah. funny we're not the only ones <laughs> no it's a great uh, little technique for keeping the scent with you as you shave Oh, it's nice. Wow, it's and it's. I don't know how it's getting dirtier and cleaner somehow. Yeah, like darker, they're pulling against each other, just beautifully, right? Darker and cleaner, all 100%. all at the same time. Yep. Oh, and you know what? We're gonna have to just go a little deeper with this guy. You know what's funny? I don't picture the traditional, stereotypical dude wearing this. No, which is funny because that's what we thought Miami Nights was going to kind of be. True. And it wasn't. And I kind of thought this would be more like, you know, the right. stereotypical. But it's not. There's, no. It's Co the colognes somehow... are so much more whimsical. That's I think we word. go into it expecting like a legit, like, recreation of the actual scent of a tobacco leaf if I was holding it in my hands. But this right. is more of a tobacco dreamy. And there's a lot. There's three tiers how they have it listed. And you can really right. tell 100%. that every time you give this a little whiff, you get something else. Yeah, and each whiff, you're you, you're led to explore a different part of the scent, either the top note, the heart of it, right. or the bottom. Yeah. Much like I Love Lucy, she was crying to be on the show. <laughs> so she's on the show. Clearly, she wanted to give it a whiff. You know what I really like, too, as I go a little bit deeper with this? I love scents that pull against the notes that are inside of it. So... What I really like is that I was expecting the tobacco part of this to be what carries the sweet. 
but it's not. The tobacco is a beautiful, slightly dry yeah. feel, and then it's the vanilla and the tonka Spices, and the cocoa yeah. and the other things that bring out the sweet in the tobacco. So the tobacco is not carrying all of that weight. So and I didn't realize, but the dried fruit layer is actually... Oh, and that, that's helping to sweeten it up too. Right. So the tobacco itself in this was I love. It's right it's in the middle. It's sweet. It's like the savory tobacco, leaf tobacco. Right. Unsmoked, like raw right. like tobacco. Yes. Not raw maybe, but cured. Whatever yeah, they do yeah, to it before you it. smoke it. But if you're thinking of it being smoky, it's not that... No, there's no, no smoke in this. No, get that out of your head. There's no. no smoke in this. But just, it's it's not the sweet tobacco that I would expect. Right. It's the other things that are sweet that lend their sweetness to the dry. Tobacco. Don't you think? Isn't that right? It's a little hot outside. He wants to shave you down. Hey, can I bomb one of those? Hey, get your own! So, head over to therazorcompany.com where you'll find this and a ton of other stuff I want. Well, I've had my shave. All right, yeah, hold, stop. 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 The scent's amazing, phenomenal, everything else we talked about. Y'all, y'all, look at my face. Master Show Creations. This lather is different. Y'all, uh, this, I, I know I'm getting better at making a lather, but it seems like as soon as I got to where this was perfect, it said to me, it's perfect, leave me be. And Y'all, the lather on this, my razor could do whatever it wanted. I had zero irritation. I could do new angles. I could do swirlies. Y'all, I know that folk songs have been written about this base, but I'm starting to understand it. And I had a fantastic shave. Thank you, Master Soap Creations. <laughs> Welcome to Messages! So Halloween is fast approaching, and we know <laughs> that it is a high holy day here in the wet shaving community. So, in that spirit, yes. Jason and the Razor Company have included a small sample of their collaboration with Southern Witchcraft, which is, I believe, a sort of haunted, spooky barbershop sample. So, we are going to give this away to y'all! If you happen to be on YouTube this morning in the live chat, just put your hand up, and the first one we see, we'll send this out to you. Compliments of Jason, the Razor Company, and the Barbershop Duet. Barber so when would you wear this it's as funny. a lady type? Right. I am excited that fall's coming because it's a very ah. small first little whiff for yeah, me. Right. And I also think it is like if I wanted to calm the mm. evening, right. but like a warm hug, yeah. I actually would really kind of venture to use this. Right. Yes. Sometimes I think things that are a little too masculine are a little too harsh. Sometimes. Right, but this is not. No, not at all. This it's is the so, opposite. Yeah. it's super masculine, but it just is the gentle kind. It's the, the, comforting. Just kinda, it's yeah, it just kind of wafts over to you the way the smell of brownies baking in the oven does. Right, right. and I can see why even just for you, the tobacco would be a, a grandpa smell. Like it's <laughs> it's it's someone comforting someone you want to spend your time with. You're not in a rush. Yeah, you're just enjoying your evening. Yeah, and, and I like that this home. isn't all the cherry tobacco. It's lots yeah. of other things too. So it doesn't like necessarily bring me back to sitting on the couch playing five card draw right, with yeah. grandpa. <laughs> but it does have that heart note that it makes does. me go, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But the there's so many it, other layers. Oh, it's, just ugh. way more to explore. It's, and every whiff, I gotta say, you really get something different. Yeah. Like indeed. even if we hadn't had the whole list written out, we would have been trying to figure out what that was. Right. Because it's so intriguing. Oh, like you want to sure. keep smelling it. Yep. Oh, Razor Company, thank you so much yes, for our you. care package. We're only halfway through it. We're so <laughs> excited to look at the other two. Yay. And thank you, Master Soap Creations. Not yeah, just for so, this yeah. lather and this base and we everything will that's happening. Definitely but be checking out more. The scent is awesome yes. and we're grateful. Thank you. Don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet. You'll smell better just watching this.